In today's video, I am showing off how I made a multiplayer game in Godot. This multiplayer game is a 2D shooter and it is coded in C sharp. However, it could be made in GD script or C++ if you're using Project Genova. So you can run around the scene. There's a tile map which acts as the collision so you can go up and down the stairs and stand on the platforms. And then by left clicking, you can shoot your gun and there is two players and each player has a score and the score is shown in the top left corner and each time you land a hit on your opponent you score a point and the game is over at 50 points but you can keep playing afterwards and beforehand the players one player will host a game and the other player will join the game they can both enter a name and once they're done it will start so to explain how this works i need to go into the code so the first thing we have is this global c sharp script which has a dictionary of players and this stores all the information we need to know about the players and how many are connected. And to get a connection, you have this multiplayer control script, which is attached to our main menu scene. So on ready, when we start the application, it will set these four functions, peer connected, peer disconnected, connected to server and connected to fail to the respective functions down here. And then if you called this from the command line as a server, it will automatically host the game. And in our peer connected, we simply print that we've connected. In disconnect, we remove a player from our game manager and delete the character body in game. And then when we connect to the server, which is only called on the clients, we'll send an RPC ID, which means a multiplayer message or function to the server, since that is ID one, and we'll call it send player data. And we send our name and our unique ID. And if connection fails, we simply print connection failed. So in our send player data, we add a new dictionary to our dictionary of players. So the game manager dot players is really a dictionary of dictionaries and we set name ID and score. And then if it's the server for each player in game manager, we will go through and get the dictionary of that player. We'll get the name and the ID and we'll send that to each other player. And then down here, where we can go up, we have start game, which instantiates our level, which we'll get to in a second. Then down here, we have host game, which creates a new peer, sets that peer as a server with our port. And then if nothing errors, we'll set comp our compression modes to range coder, set the multiplayer peer equal to peer, and then print waiting for players. And when we push host, we'll host the game and make sure to send our own data to the server. So if we push host, we'll also be able to play. And when we push join, we create a new peer as a client. We use the same range coder compression and we set the multiplayer peer equal to peer. And on push start, we call the start game function. Now, once we started a game, we go into our level, which runs this code here on ready, where for each player, we will create a character body 2D from this pack scene and instantiate it. We'll get the values from the dictionary for that player. And we will set the current name of this character body 2D equal to the ID associated with that player. And then we add it as a child. Then for each player spawn location, we will find when that spawn location's name is equal to index and we will set the position of the player there. So we have two spawn locations, a zero and a one. So when we start the game, one player will spawn at zero and one player will spawn at one. And for our player code, uh, on ready, we set the authority for that player equal to its own name, which is its ID. So this means that only you can control your character. Then in our physics process, if you're not the player that's the authority, it won't do anything. Otherwise, we have a velocity. We will look at wherever our mouse is and get that as a rotation for our gun. If we're on the floor, we can jump. And if we're not, we fall to gravity. If we push fire, we'll call the fire method as an RPC. And then we move in the direction that we push left or right. And finally, we set our camera equal to the global position of this character. Then to fire, we have this RPC function up here where we instantiate a bullet 
we spawn it at the gun look the gun bullet spawn location we set its position equal to the spawn location and its rotation and we add it to the scene as a child and then our bullet very simple on ready it sets its direction equal to the rotation we packaged in and then we move in the direction until we set this boolean to destroy itself and we slide in that direction while adding gravity and when we hit something we set destroy if it's true so once we hit something the bullet's destroyed and if the node has a function called dot hit we call it dot hit and dot hit is here and this is in our player code and if we are not the authority which means we hit the other player we increase our own score that was stored over here and we update our label and i left a link in the description to the tutorial i followed for the first half of this game if you want to see how to get all the multiplayer working but it won't include stuff about the score or getting players to detect being hit by bullets and that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed this is a very rough demo and a lot can be added to this game but if you want to see another c sharp demo you should click on this video here where i make vampire survivors in godot and until next time see ya